Oh, my dog just farted. It smells so bad. Welcome back to my channel. I recently put a poll up on Instagram and asked you guys if you would be interested in seeing a winter room tour. I think the last time I did one of these pet slash bedroom room tours was about five months ago. Things have definitely changed. I mean, they're changing every day in here, I swear. <laughs> and 100% of you said, yes, you would like to see that. So today I am coming with you I'm coming with you. I'm coming at you with a brand new room tour. I'm gonna say the same thing I say in every single one of these videos. My room is not 100% where I want it to be. I don't think it ever will be, but I do enjoy the way it looks right now. I think it looks pretty cute. And I also have some Christmas decorations up. So I am definitely getting ready for the holidays. I don't really get too into it. I'm not going to go over every single enclosure because I recently did a reptile rack tour which I will leave a linked up here somewhere where I went a little more in depth about all the animals and their enclosures but if you guys would be interested in seeing an enclosure tour type video where I go over each and every one of my animal enclosures I'd be more than happy to do that but for now we are just going to do the bedroom tour I think I'm going to stop talking and just get into it <laughs> somebody dirtied their water, so thank you for that. on this side of my room and on this side I have my massive monstera which is growing all over the place. I love the plant, I just hate how it's growing right now. I was dumb and didn't put any sort of stick in the center or anything like that to help it grow upwards so instead it's been growing outwards and honestly I've just accepted it. <laughs> But it is definitely one of my prized possessions. I absolutely love her. She was so small when I first got her and now she's just crazy growing a lot of leaves. So this area is probably one of the messiest areas of my room. I just have my Nintendo Switch Lite charging over there because Pokemon is a real thing. I also have my fiddly fig and then just a snake plant here and tucked away back there is just a ton of wires and then also some other stuff that I use frequently. And then over on the side here I just tuck away the ring light 
case as well as a couple of cleaning products. Don't worry, the Windex isn't for my animals. It's just for my desk because I have a glass desk. But in this bottle, I just have some water and vinegar. Moving on from there, I have my fish tank and this is a fluval chi. And ignore how dirty the sand is. It is almost time for a water change. Also, you just can't keep white sand clean. I have some algae growing over here for the snails. That's another thing you should ignore. But anyways, this is Neptune's tank. It is highly modified as I've mentioned in all of my videos before where I talk about this tank. Definitely not how I want it to be at all right now, but I'm hoping that in the near future, I will be able to set it back up the way I wanted to initially. I definitely prefer the way it looked before, but I do have some African dwarf frogs in there right now and it's really difficult to see them on any sort of black substrate, so I had to go for white and I'm just getting used to it. That's definitely one thing I really need to get used to. I also have some lucky bamboo and some pothos growing out of there and then on top of that is just my calendar and then some pictures. I have my dog Zinzi's paw print who passed away last year unfortunately. Next to the Flugel Chi, I have a couple of plants. I recently just moved this one over here because it wasn't doing well where it was before. So I'm hoping it'll do better here. We'll see. And then I also have a silver satin pothos. I believe that's what it's called. Ignore the yellowing leaf up there. That whole vine actually had yellow leaves on it and they were slowly falling off. It was just because of the transitionary period from the greenhouse to here. It has a bunch of new leaves coming through. It has a lot of new growth coming through. That's for sure. Then I just keep my laptop here and I do have quite a few things over here as well. So I have my pens and pencils. It's just a chapstick or lip balm, whatever you want to call it, and then my air plant, and that is my jade plant, which I bought originally for a video, which I still need to film, and then I just have my phone on my wireless charger right next to my bed because I like to read through your comments before I go to sleep. Above my desk, I have this cute little shelf, which has a variety of things on it. I think I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. Here, we just have two different types of fish food. I don't really feed the flakes. I definitely prefer the bug bites that I have here, but I still have some flakes left over. And then I have this little critter, <laughs> this little animal from South Africa, which is where I'm from. I have some paper clips. And then there's also some shed from my animals. And then just some plants that I am busy propagating. Moving up, I have a little elf on the shelf. I've never had one of these before in my life. Next to my elf on the shelf, I have a candle, which I don't necessarily burn in here. It's just kind of a decoration, to be completely honest. But it looked super cute and minimalistic, so I put that there. Of course, I have some Halloween decorations still. I love anything spooky, as you guys may already know. And then we just have some more plants propagating. At the very top, we have a Marvel Queen Pothos. Those are some clippings I had. And then next to that, I totally forgot the name of the plant. And it wasn't doing good, but it's doing good now. So that's all that matters. Moving on from there, I have my bed. It's just a single because that's all I can fit in this tiny room. And then just a tapestry I put up. I think it looks really cute there. So my windowsill has a variety of plants as you probably would have expected. I have a croton there. This is a Moses in a boat, Moses in a cradle, whatever you want to call it. But it is just, it's not doing its best. I really think I need to find it a new home that'll treat it better than I do because clearly whatever I'm doing is not working. And I've had this plant for a very long time and my friend tried to help me get it to grow and we just couldn't figure it out to be completely honest. Right next to that I have my pink illusion arrowhead which has definitely been a struggle as well. Sorry, it was dirty, that leaf. But it's doing pretty good, to be completely honest. It's starting to open up new leaves, which is very exciting. Next, we have some cute decorations. So first of all, this is a Hawartha, I believe somebody said in my last video. And then I just have some crystals here. I don't know the name for all of these, so I'm not going to go over them. And ignore this mess. I accidentally just spilled all the water from out of here all over the place. So that is why it looks like that. What is this? Is this just a chunk of soil? Yeah. Okay, let's put that back. This 
is my beautiful Chinese money plant, which has several little babies growing. There you go. It has a lot of baby plants growing, which I'm really happy and proud of. Over here, I have my sad silver sprinkle bilia, bilia, I don't know how to pronounce it, that my dog has gotten into several times. So it's just, it's trying its best to save itself, but I don't know if it's going to be able to this time. Moving on from my bed, I have this wall here, which pretty much houses all my amphibians and reptiles. We'll start with the big rack and then we'll move on to the smaller one. I'm not going to go into too much detail just because I do have a reptile rack door up. At the very top, I have, starting from the left, going to the right, I have an African milk tree, a little sign up for my YouTube channel, and then I believe that's a calathea, and then just a little Christmas decoration. We move it down to the shelf here. I have Cheeto on the left in a 12 by 12 by 18 exochera. Um, another plant just hanging out there until I can figure out where to put it. And then on the right hand side, I have my tomato frogs enclosure ketchup. It's an 18 by 18 by 18, I believe. Yes, it definitely is. There are a couple of live plants in there, nothing too exciting. We have Puff, who does not have a salad in there yet, if anyone was thinking about commenting on that. She doesn't eat until later in the day because she doesn't like to wake up until later in the day, so I will be giving her food a little bit later on when she has done her full process of waking up. And at the very bottom, I just have my two adult crested geckos on the left is Charmander, and then on the right is Spiral, and they are both in 18 by 18 by 24 exoterras. Then we move over to the smaller rack, which doesn't have nearly as many critters on it, but it definitely has more plants. <laughs> so again, we'll go from left to right. At the top there on the left, we have a golden pothos, and then we have a peace lily that my mom got me, and then we have a marble queen pothos from my boyfriend, and there's a picture of us on the wall, which is super on the next shelf, I have my Fetonia over here. It looks very sad right now, but I just watered it and it takes a little bit of time for it to perk up. You can see some of the leaves are starting to perk up already. And I have Relish, my White's Tree Frogs enclosure. Relish is in a 10 gallon right now. Relish is very, very small. And once Relish is larger, I will be moving him or her into hopefully an 18 by 18 by 18 exoterra, which will be fully planted and and maybe I might even get him or her a little friend. They do pretty good in groups, actually. On top of Relish's enclosure, I just have some wax worms, which they're almost done already. Usually I keep all my feeders on the bottom, but my dog has been getting a hold of this one and then carrying it around the house, and I don't want worms everywhere. I also just have a philodendron here. It's doing really well. It's got a lot of new leaves. The next enclosure is Houdini's. It does look a little bit dry in there, so I'm probably going to give it a good misting. That's the problem with living in Canada, at least where I live in Canada. In the winter, it gets very dry, so instead of misting my animals once a day, I have to mist them several times a day. I'm sure I'm going to get questions about what's on top of Houdini's enclosure, and I have not introduced the critters that are in there and I don't know if I'm ever going to. I'm just not going to talk about it in this video. On the very bottom I have all of my isopods and also my springtails and then I just have my two cricket bins there as well. The smaller one is for relishes crickets because they are significantly smaller than if I were to put them in a large bin. I would never be able to find them. The larger bin is of course for the rest of my animals that eat crickets. Next to the smaller shelf, I just kind of have this little stand here, which I have to get my own. This is my sister's. I'm just using it without her permission for the time being because it was at our place. <laughs> so I just have some plants on there which do really well in this area of my room. So I have a rubber plant back there. This is a prayer plant. Then I also just have, I believe this is... Is it called Pearls Enjoy Pothos or is it just called Enjoy Pothos? I have that one there. It's definitely a slow grower I have found, but it's really cute. And then usually I have nothing under here because, well, let me explain. <laughs> so what's under there right now are my super worms and mealworm beetles. I am 
very allergic to them and this is a recent allergy that I have developed. So typically they are not in my bedroom, but for now they are sitting in here just because it is worm day for Puff. All right guys, that is pretty much it for my room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see a little glimpse into my bedroom. Yes, this is my real bedroom. I do share it with all of my animals and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below and also hit that notification bell so you can get updates on when I post my next video. If you want to keep updated on my life as well as all of my pets, all of my social media is always linked down below and I will see you guys next week for another video.